Two days gone and no news of poor Fairfax the Dolts. They seek him everywhere, say within a dozen yards of his dungeon. So I'm free. Free, but for the cursed haste with which I hurried headlong into the bonds of matrimony. Heaven no fool. As far as I remember, she should have been young. But even in not your face been concealed by her kerchief, I doubt whether in my then plight I should have taken much note of her. Free? Bah, the tower bonds are but a thread of silk compared with these conjugal fetters which I, fool that I was, placed upon my own hands. From the one I broke readily enough, how to break the other? Sergeant Merrill, and how fares thy pretty charge, Elsie Maynard? Well enough, sir. She is quite strong again, and she leaves us tonight. Thanks to Dame Carruthers' kind nursing, eh? I do say the old witch. It was a sorry trick you played me, sir, to bring that fainting girl to me. It gave the old lady an excuse for setting up her quarters in my house. And for the last two years, I've shunned her like the plague. Another day of it, she would have married me. Oh, good Lord, here she is again. I'll leave go. Nay, Sergeant Barrow, don't go. I've something of grave import to say to thee. It's coming. In faith, I think I'm not wanted here. Nay, you. Master Leonard, I've not to say to thy father that his son may not hear. True, I'm one of the family. I'd forgotten. Tis about this Elsie Menard, a pretty girl, Master Leonard. Aye, fair as a peach blossom. What then? She hath a liking for thee, or I mistake not. With all my heart, she's as dainty a little maid as you'll find in a Midsummer's Day march. Then be warned in time, and give not thy heart to her. Oh, I know what it is to give my heart to one who will have none of it. Ah, she knows all about that. <laughs> Why should my boy take heed of her? She's a good girl, Dame Carruthers. Good enough for aught I know, but she's no girl. She's a married woman. A married woman? Tush, old lady. She's promised to Jack Point, the lieutenant's jester. Tush in thy teeth, old man. As my niece Kate sat by her bedside today, this Elsie slept. And as she slept, she moaned and groaned and turned this way and that way. And how shall, how shall I, I marry have... one I have never seen, quoth she. And then. a hundred and a hundred Rounds, quote she, and is it is certain he will die in an hour, quote she, and I love him, I love not, him yet not. not, and yet I am his wife, 
Is it not so, Kate? I act as even so. Art thou sure of all this? I, sir, for I wrote it all down in my tablet. Now, so mark my words, it was of this fair fact she spoke, and he, or she spake, and he is her husband, or I'll swallow my kirtle. Is this true, sir? True, why, that girl was raving. Why should she marry a man who hath but an hour to live? Marry? There be those who would marry but for a minute, rather than die old maids. Aye, I know one of them. <laughs> Stop. 